Here's an example video for the topic factoring a quadratic with leading coefficient greater than 1, problem type 1. The example problem we will look at is 2y squared minus 5y plus 2. The first thing we want to do when factoring such a quadratic is to first look at each term and see if there is any greatest common factor that we can first divide out to make our problem simpler. We see a 2y squared, a negative 5y, and a positive 2. There is no greatest common factor here. So next step we will take is we will multiply the first term, 2y squared, by the third term, 2. The first term, 2y squared, is sometimes referred to as a, and the third term, 2, is sometimes referred to as c. So you multiply them two together, 2y squared times 2, we get 4y squared. And what we want to do is make a t-chart. Now we need to think of two factors of 4y squared that multiply together to equal 4y squared that also add together to equal negative 5y. The factors of 4y squared are 1y, 2y, and 4y. To get negative 5y and pos positive 4y squared, two factors that work here are negative 4y and negative y. Because negative 4y times negative y equals positive 4y squared, and negative 4y minus y equal negative 5y. When we factor a quadratic, the result will be two binomials. So let's draw two sets of parentheses that we'll have our binomials in. Our next step is to look at our first factor, negative 4y, and our first term, 2y squared. We want the greatest common factor between these two things. 2 and 4 have a greatest common factor of 2. And y squared and y have a greatest common factor of 1y. So 2y is what we can pull out of this and that. And we'll put it in our first, our first factor in, our, in the first set of parentheses. The first part in our second set of parentheses will be the greatest common factor of 2y squared and our second term here, negative y. We see here that our greatest common factor is 1y because 1y can be pulled out of this and that. Our next step is to look at our first term in our, in our new set of parentheses and our first factor, negative 4y. We figure out what, two, what multiplies by 2y to get negative 4y. So 2y times what equals negative 4y? Negative 2. And so we put the negative 2 in the second set of parentheses right here. And our last step, we take this y here, and we figure out this y times what equals negative y. Negative 1. We now have two factors that we have put together. Our last step, let's do a quick FOIL to check to see if when we multiply these together, we get our original quadratic expression. 2y times y equals 2y squared. 2y times negative 2 equals negative 4y. Negative 1 times y equals negative y. And negative 1 times negative 2 equals positive 2. Combine these like terms to get 2y squared minus 5y plus 2. Therefore, 2y minus 1 times y minus 2 is our final answer. And that's how we factor a quadratic with leading coefficient greater than 1. By first multiplying our first term by our third term, and finding two factors of that new result that add together to equal our middle term. And then using the principles of greatest common factor, we get our final result.